Female genital mutilation attracts a 10-year jail term. It is still widely practiced in some remote communities in Karamoja and Sabine, which regard it as a passage to adulthood. Early marriage is also common in rural areas. Now the government, UNICEF, UNFPA, and the United Kingdom Department for International Development believe that involving students like these ones at Mary Patrick's will raise awareness and spread messages against FGM. The practice has certainly suddenly changed the way it is happening underground when women are delivering all across the border. So we want to bring in the, the, our, our neighboring countries uh, to, to help us. I would like the government to establish or bring about income generating projects where people are involved and they get money instead of marrying off these girls. More than 125 million girls and women alive today have been subjected to FGM in 29 countries in Africa and the Middle East. 30 million girls are at risk of being cut within the next decade. And it means taking action on a set of things that affect girls in these situations. Education, health, the way communities work together, the way girls are thought of in relation to their opportunities. Because we have put laws and policies in place, we have sensitized people, those who are carrying out the female genital mutilation, some of them are giving up and they are being integrated into programs uh, like NADS and so on. These issues have been of concern even to developed countries where it's done discreetly. The efforts to fight early marriage and female genital mutilation head to London for a global girls' conference next week. Moses Sakena, NTV.